Hi there, it's Ina here and welcome to my art room. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and please push the bell icon so you will receive notification of all my regular uploads. So today I would like to work with these unique looking frames. I have three of these and unpacked two. Now they each come with a piece of fly screen. They each come with an additional piece of tiny wood. They are made out of rather strong and heavy wood, but I have no clue what these were originally intended for. I got them at a home giveaway together with other art and craft items, which makes me think that they were meant for something crafty. So to find out, I actually posted a photo on my Facebook and other sites, but so far, no luck. Nobody seems to know what these things are. So if you have any idea, let me know because I would love to find out. Now to start my project, I glued two frames together, one on top of the other. I also plan to add a sturdy piece of cardboard as a backing. Here I rip apart some old dictionary paper and I will decoupage them on that piece of cardboard. Here it is and it just needs to dry. Next I will add some color. I will use some black gesso. I will also sand it for a distressed look and then I will go through my stash and get some of the main elements out which I want to use in this assemblage. Now anytime I put a thing like this together most of my time is taking up uh, deciding what looks good together, what complements each other. There are no difficult technical steps involved to put all this together. Just a little bit of paint and a lot of glue. So I will give you the fast version but then I will give you a detailed look at the final result. Now, while I was painting the frame, another artist joined me here at the table. And it's my granddaughter, Jolene. And she really wanted you to see her lovely rainbow. So here is her artwork. And she will also grace you with a lovely little smile. Here she is. <laughs> And now I let you watch the process. All my mediums and materials will be in the captions and I talk to you in just a wee bit.
So here is my completed piece and of course I want you to take a closer look at it. I did add a few additional elements, I altered others, changed things around a little bit and I actually had a little more video footage available of my process but it got pretty boring. It was mainly gluing and well me changing my mind several times until I was happy with the way it looked. So rather than adding that I think giving you a close up look and a few explanations will serve you way better. So before I get into the details here on the inside, let's take another look at the outside. Here are the metal pieces I added to all four corners. I attached them by using tiny nails and these things were left over from a repair I did on one of my chairs and I think they complement that rather sturdy frame. Now the dictionary pages were naturally aged and I really like the looks of them. I didn't add anything else to them but Mod Podge. Now this frame is rather sturdy and heavy so I added a hanger back here using two good sized screws. That way when it's once on my wall it will stay put and not fall off. Here in the front you can see the distressed wood, the actual frame. And I really like the combination of the black and the green and the way the sandpaper brought out this uh, distressed look. And now to the inside. The main movable feature of this assemblage is definitely the winch up here. Now this thing is rather heavy so I had to take a pretty heavy duty hook up here and a sturdy hammer to get it attached. I also added a bit of copper paint. Now originally I was going to use most of my elements just the way they were without adding any paint. But honestly all the silver items like the fork and the ladder opener and the cookie cutter they were just too bright and shiny and I really didn't like it. I didn't think it matched really to everything else. So they all got a coat of black gesso and I distressed them just using a dry brush and some of my copper paint. Now this winch up here works best when this whole thing stands upright of course so it has some freedom of movement but because of the position of my camera I will have to show it to you laying down. So in order for it to work for me so I can show it to you I add a piece of wood right there and here you can see the chain moves rather freely. It loops once all around the inside wheel and then at the end I attach these two domes which are decorated and I will get to those in just a moment. Now you did see me starting uh, the background in here by gluing down all the flat elements and then I also added a piece from the fly screen. This came with the frames and you can see it right here. It covers part of the photo, part of the antique sign and the fabric. I also added a little piece down here to the background. So on to the 3D elements. Now I didn't add as many to this assemblage as I often do because I did not want to overcrowd either the background or the pretty frame. So here we have a toy key. Let me zoom in a little bit so I can show you maybe half at a time. So we'll do the top half. So here is a toy key. I punched a hole, I added a chain, I had an interesting piece of hardware and the key lives right up here where it fits perfectly. I left this little compartment free. Here we have a spring and it looked very much like this one before. No clue where this came from <laughs> but this one was a little smaller. I cut off the hook, I painted it and I added a teal a bead right to the middle of it. Then right next to it we have a piece from a pair of glasses. I took the handles off just like this one and it leans against a metal pole. This thing is used to keep your lamp shade on top of your lamp, the top, the little screw thing. So it holds up the glasses and I added a glass bead behind one of the glasses. It came from this collection here so it looks a little bit like an eye but it's rather larger than this and round of course. 
there's a cube you saw earlier I didn't change anything here now here's the fork and I added one of those Chinese coins with the square hole and then uh, as I go over here there's a little clay pot I had a few of those some are a little more fancy I got them when I was in Mexico then this is the Halloween decoration I didn't do anything to that it just went in the way it was and here's a science glass now inside the science glass you see some broken earrings. They were made out of two metal feathers and some beads. I attached the glass to the side of the frame so it would be also a bit more towards the front and it gives it all a bit more dimension. Now here I attached one of those kitty um, magnifying glass. It had a see-through handle but I attached some paper to it, distressed it, used the screw and if I lift it up it will magnify the face of the middle child up there and when I put it down it gives you a better view to what's in that science glass. So then we have the bird over here. Now the bird came from a set. I had a few of these birds in different sizes. They already had this black and gray decoration on it and I elevated it a bit by using these little game markers. I put I think two or three on top of each other. So this is rather high up. Then underneath it I have a minute hand and it came from a huge clock. I have the hour hand right here and over the hole I placed one of these cabochons which looked a bit like this. And here too I added a piece of this underneath it. So both these are elevated just a little bit. A couple of these went also under the fork mostly to stabilize it a bit more. So I think that's everything in the top compartment. So let's go to the bottom here. Let's see if we can... there you go. So here we still have the doorknob, I just added a bit of acrylic paint, the copper paint, and I added a tile from a Scrabble game right here. It just gives one of these a better landing spot. And then here on the other side, I added a big cabochon into the cookie cutter, just like this. And I had this really nice looking piece of old uh, jewelry. It has actually a little arrowhead on it. And then I had this tag. It made out of metal. It's XOXO. It was outdoor for a long time so it's aged naturally and I attached it with a screw so it can move up and down. And it's pretty much flush with the rest of the frame so it fits perfectly. Then here in the corner I added some beads. Now let me see um, they look pretty much like these ones, just a bit of a different color. I first added a piece of a cork and then put the beads on top of it. They're all glued in. That way they weren't so deep in the hole. Now here the little compartment on this side I left free and here on the bottom is another one of these markers again to give these kind of things a good landing place. And now just to my two domes here. Let me give you a bit of a close-up. Let's get a look close on these. All right. Oops. All right, here they are. So this was decorated by using an earring and I show you the other part. So this was the other earring. Now this one is pretty messed up. The flowers are all messed up but this still looked really well and I took the back off and just stabilized it by adding a bead and it's stuck in there really well. And then here I had an arrowhead which came from a piece of jewelry and I added uh, different silver beads. I put a wire in the middle, some glue and that's also stuck pretty well. So that's how I decorated these. So let me go <laughs> back out here. Whoops! Other way! Bzzzt. All right, here we are. All right, so and that's pretty much it. So I like the end result and I really hope you do too. Okay, there will be some photos coming up. Thank you so much for joining me. See you soon again. Bye bye for now.